hello and welcome now in this video we're going to do uh, the most interesting stuff that we've done so far now we're going to draw shapes in processing now in the previous video we discussed about uh, the, the setup and draw functions and what they are and in this video we're going to jump right into the shapes so that's right we're going to draw shapes in processing now uh, to draw shapes, we need to do the whole, you know, the whole basic steps, like uh, writing the the setup function that we've already discussed. Now these are the most important functions, and we need to write it always. We need uh, to get these functions uh, every time we we want to do anything in processing. We need to write these functions. Now these two functions are the setup and the draw functions. Now, and as I've already said, that the draw function runs once. So the things that we need to do at the beginning and just forget about it, all those steps we're going to write inside of the setup function. So, uh, for example, like setting up the window size. So we're going to set our window size to something like 600 and 600, whatever makes you feel comfortable with. I'm comfortable with 600 and 600 and once we get into more interesting steps we're gonna increase our resolution so for now let's just set it uh, set the size to 600 and let's just run our function uh, uh, run our application right now as you can see there's nothing interesting in our application it's just an empty window so the thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the background color of this uh, window now the background color right now it takes in three values that is the R Z and V value uh, the R stands for red um, Z stands for green and V stands for blue and every color in computer that you're seeing right now is basically a combination of these three colors so for now we want to set up uh, we want to um, paint a background white so uh, to paint a background white what we can do is we can simply uh, put in the background uh, the function background as 255 comma 255 comma 255 so this stands for a white background and if we run it again okay there you go and as you can see these uh, this is a, a white background and let's just do something more interesting now as I've already said we're going to do uh, interesting steps we're going to draw shapes in processing so the first shape in processing we're going to draw is uh, an ellipse so uh, let's just draw an ellipse so ellipse is you know an an oval shape or how, however you want to define it. it it's basically an oval shape so uh, to draw an ellipse it is quite uh, simple uh, ellipse we're just going to write ellipse and this is a function that is going to take uh, in a few parameters now the parameters are the center of the ellipse uh, so this is a window and the center is basically where we're going to place the ellipse at so I'm going to place it at um, so since a, a window is 600 and 600 so I'm, I'm, I want to uh, I want to place it right in the middle that is um, 300 comma 300 and the next two parameters in an ellipse uh, are, are the height and width of our ellipse so um, for now let's just uh, put in 100 comma 200 and if I run it as you can see there you go this is our ellipse now uh, this is our ellipse and as you can see it is right in the middle that is 300 comma 300 and it is a 100 uh, it is 100 width uh, it is 100 pixels wide and 200 pixels high or a tall I'm sorry or, or tall now as you as you might have already guessed that in order to to create a circle using this ellipse function what we really need to do is we need to do uh, we need to give in a similar values in our later to uh, in, in a ladder to uh, variables that is the 300 and 300 is basically the X and Y position of our 
Viral lips and the and 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 the the last two arguments are going to be the height and width of our lips. So if we want to draw a circle, we we want to keep the height and width equal. So if we do this, yeah, as you can see, there's our circle. Uh, the next shape, now nah, the next shape that we can draw in passing. Well, there there are quite a there are quite a few shapes, but we're just going to discuss the basic shapes, and you, you can just look it up, Google it up, and then see for yourself. Now, uh, in this video, we can just stick to the basic shapes. So the next basic step, uh, the, the the next basic shape is the uh, rect, which is essentially a rectangle. Now, the rectangle also takes in a few parameters. The first parameter, as you, as you might have already guessed, is the position of a rectangle. But unlike an ellipse, uh, which, you know, we specify the center of an ellipse, so in case of a rectangle, we need to specify a location of the, the upper left corner of a rectangle. So if I, if I go and write in something like 100, 200, and this is going to be the x and y position of our rectangle and the next two parameters are obviously going to be the width and height of our rectangle so let's just put in uh, 50 okay 50 comma 100 and if i run it there you go we have our lips and then we have our rectangle now one thing one thing we can do in order to you know get a little a little animation and stuff going is we can actually change the x variable the x value of our rectangle in order to animate it so for that what i uh, what i want to do is initialize a variable outside of these two functions I, i'm not initialize it's called a declaring a variable so we're going to declare a variable outside of these two functions and it's going to be a float a float is basically a, a a floating value. Now you could all you could have used integer as in, but for this case we're gonna use float. And you know don't worry about these uh, data types because we're going to learn uh, all about these data types as we go through the tutorial series. So for now let's just write in float and then the name of our variable. So we're just going to write it as x. And in 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 the beginning we want it. 100 so in a rectangle let's just put in uh, x and what we what we really want to do is we want to animate it so uh, as i've already said the draw function is basically a loop which helps us in creating our animation so this draw function runs continuously so what we can do is we can write x plus plus or uh, 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 to keep it a little more simpler let's just keep it x equals x plus one now let's just see what happens so there we go you can see that uh, a rectangle is moving is moving now uh, the, the similarly we can we can actually comment it out so to comment a line a comment is basically you know disabling the statement or the piece of code so we for now we just want to uh, disable the rectangle and we want our ellipse to let's just say grow so uh, let's just keep it x x and we want our ellipse to grow and that's going to be our, um, our animation so this is put in and as you can see our ellipse is growing so this is how we create uh, simple shapes and we can actually animate those steps in uh, in our uh, processing now, I think uh, this is enough for this video as it is just a b the beginning and we really don't want to get into the more advanced steps you know uh, this quickly this early so we just gonna wrap this video up and hopefully you've learned the basic you know, the basic shapes that is the lips and the rectangle and the, and you know the basics of animating steps and processing so um yeah i mean that's it for this video and also happy coding